Hi guys, I'm excited to do a August favorites video. I've actually never done one of these and I love watching them from other people. So this is gonna be a very random assortment of things, a mix of fashion, but then I also wanted to mix in some random things and things that are bringing me so much joy the last month and that I feel like you guys would like too. My first thing has been one of the most life-changing discoveries that I've ever come across. And it is the sleepy tie. If you haven't heard of this, get ready for me to blow your mind, okay? This will help preserve your blowout so nicely. It's insane. I have been playing around with the sizes of them because my hair has been getting a little bit longer. So this one I believe is the medium. I've actually bought a, like a dupe of this before and it did not work as well. So you really need to buy the real thing. Basically when you're going to sleep at night, you like put all your hair up top, you take the sleepy dye and then you wrap it around the hard part of the scrunchie. And then you just basically go like this and wrap it around. There's better tutorials of it on the website in case that was confusing, but basically you now sleep like this with your hair in a bun and it makes your blowout last every single night now. Like my hair used to get so ratty and if you try to do this with just a normal scrunchie and a normal bun, it just creases and this not only gives you no creases, but it also just gives you lots of volume. I even use it if I did my hair and then I'm going to get ready and do my makeup. It's literally a great purchase. Highly recommend. My next favorite thing that I want to talk about are these tote bags from the brand Songmon. And I have been on the hunt for a great travel bag. I travel a lot and I always stuff my travel bags to the brim. And I've been searching high and low for just like an amazing, well-constructed travel bag. I came across this brand Songmon and I'm so excited for them to be sponsoring today's video because I think you guys are really gonna like the brand. I've been very into trying to discover brands that maybe you guys haven't heard of yet or maybe you have heard of them. I have seen a lot of girls wear these bags and I think they're amazing and I just never owned one and now that I have it in my presence, I'm like wow, this is unbelievable. So this brand creates the most luxurious, amazing craftsmanship and just amazing construction to their bags. Not only are they pretty but they're very functional too this is called the drippy toe and this is in the size large so it has two straps like you can either wear it long which is really nice when you're traveling if you want to like wear it like this i'm not typically a crossbody person but you can wear it crossbody and i prefer the this size which still fits like perfectly under your arm and the straps are nice and thick so that they you know doesn't hurt your shoulder whatsoever and the leather on this is like a beautiful grainy calf's Skin leather and the other interesting thing is the bottom of the bag it's kind of hard to see but the bottom of the bag is padded so it never loses its shape which is a problem I have with similar bags that I have to this and just overall it's made with such amazing like premium materials at like a fraction of the cost of very high-end designer brand and this is my favorite part about the bag okay are you ready it has two of these like side pockets on both sides that you can fit so many different things in and it just makes it so convenient for traveling. You can like stuff your bag to the brim and then put the things that you need really easy access to on the sides. Here's what I've been putting on the side of mine. You can put your passport on one side, you can put your phone, and then on the other side, you can even put your headphones. So you can just customize putting on the side anything that you need just easy access to which i think is so convenient especially when your laptop's in here i've got like cameras in here and i just fill it to the brim and then i can't find any of the things that i actually need like my id your passport or whatever and this is the size large this can fit up to a 16 inch laptop my laptop is only 13 inches but it fits very nicely in here and then the fact that the bottom doesn't scrunch just is so nice you can fit so much in here it's insane and it comes in a lot of gorgeous colors i picked the ivory we love a neutral and then it also has this easy magnetic closure that just keeps the bag closed but then you know opens and closes really easy so i feel like this is just the most amazing work bag travel bag anything bag and you could also remove these straps too or if you wanted to remove one of the straps and then I also picked out the medium drippy toe, which has the same exact features with the sides. I wanted just something that was a little bit lighter if I'm you know, not carrying as much stuff, but I want like just a beautiful laptop bag. I've been loving this just leather and canvas combination. I think it's so classy and timeless. 
and this fits if you have a 13 inch laptop that fits in there perfectly so this one's a bit more simple but still has the design where you can put anything you need on the sides and then it also has a pocket on the inside too. this is perfect for if you're just you know going to work or you're going to like the hair salon and you want to bring your <laughs> laptop somewhere whatever your lifestyle entails how cute is this it like just fits a laptop perfectly i have no bags that fit my laptop and were chic because i do have similar bags to this that i have loved and i go to wear and then they're extremely annoying they have no pockets they have no anything like they're pretty but they have no pockets and i'm like this is so not functional so that's why we're loving Songma. And let me know what you guys think of this brand. I think it's so nice. They have so many things on their website. They have small bags too. It's not just a tote brand. Okay, next favorite that I want to talk about. I finally splurged on a Mason Pearson brush. And I have to admit, it's worth every penny. I have bought at least two or three less expensive but really nice, beautiful brushes. And I do need to admit, they really don't compare. And Mason Pearson is just the most iconic luxe thing for a reason. It brings me joy to brush my hair now and apparently it stimulates hair growth and helps just distribute the oils in your hair better than any other brush can. And I feel like if you do the girl math calculation of how much you will have a hairbrush versus how much it costs, like how much use you'll get out of it, it's not that expensive. <laughs> so we've been loving this. I need my hair colored so bad. My roots are atrocious. But the brush, guys, I also bought a mini one to put in my purse. We really splurged and went all out. Highly recommend. Honestly, I bet you if you added up how many times you've bought brushes that are not as amazing, it would equal just buying this one. I'm not into dupe culture because I genuinely think that it's not the same experience. We love her. Great buy. Now I want to get into some fashion things. I could obviously make an hour long video of all the fashion things I've been loving, but I wanted to keep this relatively short. I splurged on these Laura Piana Rebecca flats. Guys, I was not expecting to love these this much and I was not expecting them to be as comfortable as they are. They just look so flattering on the foot and I feel like I do love like a flat ballet flat look. I feel like it makes me look stumpy. So I do prefer having a little heel and I've been loving the look of wearing a dress or being very dressed up but then having ballet flats on or flats shoes on like not always wearing heels and I highly recommend these they're hard to get your hands on but I have a feeling they'll probably pop up and restock this August or September so if you see them jump on them I think you would have an easier time finding them online than you would in the store every time I go to the store they don't have them my next thing is a little random but I am obsessed with this travel sweatsuit from Varley. First of all, I had the pleasure of going on a trip with some girls to Monaco and I got to meet the founder of Varley, got to like learn more about the brand. They do such an amazing job. Whatever material this is, is it's like not fleece, it's not a sweat set. It's lightweight, but it's so soft and so luxurious. It's unlike any material I've ever experienced from a brand. And I think it is just so chic. Now I literally can't travel unless this outfit is washed. <laughs> I wash this outfit so much because I'm wearing it so much and I love how the pants have pockets and it's just an easy set to travel in that you can wear around the house traveling doing whatever and it looks put together and sophisticated like I think it's like the sweat set for adults <laughs> it still looks mature and chic but it's not too scrubby looking I love 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 barley this one is my favorite. I honestly need some more colors of this sweat set because I just have this main one sweat set. So next is an Orion favorite. I feel like I'm entitled to put my <laughs> own brand in here because if I'm not obsessed with the things that I'm making myself, I'm doing something wrong. So I have been wearing this sunglasses since the day that I received the sample. I have not took them off and you guys seem to be loving them too. They sold out so fast. Something about these sunglasses just makes every single outfit looks so much cooler and i love both the gold and the silver equally to be honest and i know i'm going to be wearing these into fall and i just love them i'm so proud of our sunglasses they're such amazing quality they're made in the same factory as a lot of designer sunglasses that you know and love and they just feel so nice but then they're logo free which we love i'm so over seeing giant logos on the side of people's sunglasses i like how they're just clean and classic but they're so cool so 90s and they just make every outfit 10 times better oh actually i decided 
don't tell Matt this, but I'm gonna throw a code on this video in case you guys wanna buy anything from Orium. Feel free to use CAST20, it's a secret code. So yeah, if you wanted to try any of our belts, jewelry, sunglasses, you can use code CAST20, you're welcome. Okay, next we have these random pair of jeans that I ordered from Levi's. I don't know why, but I don't have any jeans from Levi's, which just sounds crazy. I don't know where people find all of their amazing vintage Levi's. Next time I travel, I need to Google where the best stores are and start trying to do that. But these I just bought from ShopUp and they completely give the vibe of a vintage pair of Levi's and I think they fit so nice and they look so cool. Like I've been looking for a vintage Levi's look, but these are current jeans. So I thought I would share them so that I can link them for you guys. I got a size 26. I'm usually between a 25 and 26, but I really wanted them to be loose. They're technically called the dad jean and I just love the wash. It makes it look very vintage, casual, comfortable. Ugh, I love these jeans. I've already worn them so many times, which is perfect because the more you wear your jeans, I always wear them around the house, working from home all day. They start to sculpt to your body and they just look better and fit better and they're great. Last but not least, I wanted to just talk about the website Massimo Duty, which I'm sure you guys have all heard of, but I don't know why. I just recently started pulling the trigger on their site. They have such good stuff for such a great price point. I've been ordering a million dresses from them. They're all around $200 and I think they're so timeless and chic. They just really nail silhouettes so well. You guys saw that I wore that like black spaghetti strap loose dress when I was in the south of France. And everyone was asking me about the scarf. So actually, let me talk about the scarf. So I thought the dress came with the scarf too. And when I got it, I was like, oh, and it didn't. But luckily I had a similar type of scarf that I had from Etsy. If you type in like silk scarf or like different fabric scarfs that are similar to that, you can get the look. But I have a bunch of dresses from them that I just got. I'll show you them on. And I've been loving loose dresses, I think, for summer. I feel like I lived my whole life in like skin tight dresses. <laughs> and now that I'm getting older, I'm like, whoa, baggy loose dresses is where it's at. Especially when you're going to dinner, you don't have to worry about sucking in. I think they also just look so much more chic. Definitely check out their website to check out more items. A lot of the stuff I think is sold out now, but a favorite right now is just Massimo Duty. They cr are crushing it. I ordered a bunch of basics too, like long sleeve sweaters, basic tops. I just think they nail silhouettes really well. It's a higher quality than Zara, but it's still not breaking the bank. So I feel like it's a good website to constantly get pieces from because it's chic and feels very of the moment, but it's still timeless and it's still good quality. I didn't want to make this video too, too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I can always do this like every month if you guys like it. I've been slacking on YouTube, so don't hate me, but I feel like I can do some more like closet styling videos, maybe fall videos, whatever you guys want to see. And thanks for watching and chat with you guys soon. Okay.